Okay. Let's play some more Witcher. Where's my horse? Right here in front of me? No, that's not my horse. I'm tripping. I'm blind. On the road again. It's time to travel on the road again. I don't know if those are the words, but that's how it's going right now. This way, right? I believe so. That poor guy walking in the rain. Yeah, this is it. Came froze for a second there. That was scary. Halt! No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something. The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't. Unless someone's got a pass. Well, guess what? I got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, missing a seal. The red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Nice. I thought he was gonna give me a hard time for a second. I guess we're good. Horsey. Let's go. I can't run. I can't go faster with my horse. That sucks. Long live. Looks like we found ourselves a fast travel point. No more horse riding all the way here. I'm looking for Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitek sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Exactly. Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. You better. Oh, kitty, 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 kitty. Is there something special about this cat? I don't understand. You're looking for me, and who might you be? My father sent you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait, this lady's tripping. We've nothing more to talk about. Father's worried about you. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. So he cares about you both, or you're right, he's a jackass. Let's call him a jackass. You're right. Your father's a jackass. Glad we agree. But in that case, why are you helping him? Because he knows something about someone dear to me. Promised to tell me if I found you and your mother. Got it. 
a bit of blackmail. Just his style. Well, now you've found me, you can tell him I'm alive and I'm never coming back. So, what happened to your mother? Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire. And then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce, my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. Pretty crazy. Then that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the horses panicked. I would have panicked. Now it I don't even know if she's alive. So, what will you do now? What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. <laughs> okay, if you say so. Uh, who are these friends? Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Oh. Righteous. Witch brave hunters. Men. They'll help me. That sounds cool. So, what about your father? What about your father? Who? Oh, him. <laughs> I don't care. Uh. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? I get it, though. Him. Well, well. Right. <laughs> she watched her dad a beat her mom. Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. So, who are you again? Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. So you're a witch hunter. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern, but I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Um... Where will you take her? Where are you going to take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Okay. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long. And good luck. Well, it's just me and you, uh... Nibbles. Nibbles the cat. Let's get out of here. I guess we gotta go talk to the Baron and let him know, you know, his daughter doesn't like him anymore. Alright, so let's play some more Witcher. Let's go ahead and talk to the Baron. We gotta let him know his daughter 
is okay, but she is not coming back. She is too mad at him. Probably. I don't know for sure, but I think so. <laughs> hey guys. You white one look like you got soused left. All right, Baron. Bad news. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? So I gave your daughter the doll. Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She was pretty pissed. She threw the doll away. Threw it away. God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. What of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! <laughs> like a knob. Alright, um, I'll go find her then. See you later. So long. Um, investigate all remaining leads. So, I think that means that we have to do a different quest now. Right? So let's do hunting a witch. Where's my horse? Come here, Roach. Let's go. And we're off. Why are you doing that? It's like the horse just barely doesn't work inside this little area. Move it. Let's go. Got that horse's whip like you know big rat hole. Stop. Whoa. <laughs> oh, bandits, we're going to go. So, what the hell? <laughs> I was in the water. 
eavesdrops on the gossiping woman. Mm. Hello? What are you guys talking about? Are you talking about a witch? I'd like <coughs> You are wrong. And you've wandered too far. Meager hobbles here, that's all. You should get back on the high road whence you came. Okay, so I guess they don't want to tell me anything. Peasant. You know anything about a witch? I'm busy, busy man. Nope. Old Not man? from Velen. I get it right. Mm, you did. Nope. So, where are you from? Originally, Rivia. Rivia? Hence the name. Blimey. Geralt of Rivia. I'm looking for a witch, bro. A witch lives around here somewhere. You know her? I do. From afar, that one like yourself. But she listens, understands. Helpful. Not like the old witch. That one where deaf as a stump and mean to boot. Know where I can find her? Go to the pond. Wild swans run there once. Trail starts there. Follow it to a great stone, drop where it lies by a devil that a farmer tricked into thinking it was a giant egg. Then go right into the woods. You'll pass a destitute cart, and near it, find the witch's hut. Thanks. Been a big help. Awesome, he gave me directions. So let's go find this witch. So, gonna try to turn him? So, near the pond. This is the pond, right? Here's a large rock. There's the boulder. With some blood on it. Right, and onto the Weird. Cart. Every time we go through the woods, we have to fight something, so I'm gonna be ready. Yep, there it is. Neckers. Come on. What are you doing over here, Necker? <laughs> Trying to hide out? Those things are so ugly. Here we go. There's some people over here. From the barn floor, pus streams from her snout. Gross. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? <clears throat> no, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow, none other left in the village. Rest died of hunger, or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give that you guy's her. voice is pretty, uh, them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, um, then make the cow drink. First. Unique. But first, guess... you must clean out your barn thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. Okay. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. Watch what you say. She's quick to hire. Apt to take revenge. Let's go. Say hello. Anyone home? Um. Now, where's she run off to? She's not here? Oh, books. Hmm. Managed to amass quite a book collection. No. Door's not red. Oh, here we go. A pentagram in chalk. There was something over here. Don't often see bubbles like this in Velen. Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or. Ah, she went so through the this portal. Is where she disappeared too. 
let's go in. Well, well, nice. This place is pretty epic. She was like a freaking. I was wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. Oh. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Okay. This is either a trap or she's trying to seduce me. Greetings, Witcher. Oh. Oh. She really is just chilling. Mr. Spot. Ha. <laughs> Where? I hope you didn't come to school. No, to talk. Turn around and wait. Okay, so she wears magic clothes. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Fultest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. <laughs> mm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. So I am looking for a certain young woman. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh really? Who? You know who. Siri. I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything, sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. So, who did the asking? Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. Okay. Uh, a few times. <laughs> My gratitude's good enough, right? My undying gratitude. Good enough. It's nothing to sneeze at. But you've a knack for getting into trouble. I should probably ask for something more immediately deliverable. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. Hmm. So what was his name? He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Siri. Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. Hmm. Did he leave any messages? He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Hmm. Besides, what the heck? I know you think as I do, and she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Whoa! <laughs> that deer just walked right through me. All right, <laughs> let's go then. Let's go then. Yes, let's. 